near-death experience after cardiac arrest and CPR method given, people who survived cardiac arrest with cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR as we know, can describe near-death experiences edited by Medlab News. This is from a Greek article, or medical article. Many people up to one in five who survive a cardiac arrest, arrest thanks to cardiopulmonary resuscitation, CPR, can subsequently describe near-death experiences that happen to them while they were unconscious and on the brink of death. This is revealed by a new scientific multi-center clinical study, AWARE-2, Awareness During Resuscitation, conducted in the U.S. and Britain, and present, presented on Sunday at the American Heart Association Cardiology Conference in Chicago, uh, Illinois. The researchers, led by the world's leading experts on near-death experiences, intensivist Dr. Sam Parnia, associate professor at New York University School of Medicine and Langone Medical Health Medical Center, studied the cases of 567 people whose hearts stopped beating while in 25 hospitals and who underwent CPR between 2017 and 2020, despite immediate intervention, less than 10% of patients recovered sufficiently to be discharged from hospital. Of these, about 20% later recounted some kind of lucid near-death experience. Among other things, they reported a perception of separation from their body, the detached observation of events in themselves without feeling pain, a more positive internal evaluation of their life and their attitude towards others, etc. The researchers said that these experiences are different from hallucinations, delusions, or dreams. The brain study also showed an increased activity with gamma, delta, theta, alpha, and beta brain waves up to one hour after the application of a CPR technique. Some of these waves under normal conditions occur when people are normally conscious and performing higher mental functions, such as thinking, memory, and perception. These experiences and brain wave changes can be the first signs of the so-called near-death experience and we detected them for the first time in a large study. Our findings provide evidence that while near death and in a coma, some people experience a unique inner conscious experience, including being aware without feeling bad, said Dr. Parnia. He added that this vivid and intense brain activity, along with accounts of near death experience stories, shows that the human sense of self and consciousness, like other biological bodily functions, probably does not completely stop near the moment of death. These lucid experiences cannot be considered a trick of a disturbed or dying brain, but rather a unique human experience that emerges at the threshold of death. As the brain shuts down, many of its natural inhibition systems also stop. This provides access to the depths of a person's consciousness, including stored memories, thoughts from early childhood, and other aspects of reality, although no one knows the evolutionary purpose of this phenomenon, it clearly raises challenging questions about human consciousness even in death, Parna said. The researchers pointed out that although studies to date have not been able to fully prove the reality or meaning of such patient experiences and their claims of death awareness, it has also proved impossible to disprove these claims and experiences. They therefore emphasize the need for near-death experiences to undergo further unbiased research. One in 10 reports a near-death experience, about 10% of the people in the world, one in 10, have reported a near-death experience according to a new international scientific survey. These experiences have a wide variety, such as a light at the end of the tunnel, the feeling of flying above one's body, the distortion of time, hearing voices of people or angels, various mystical feelings, etc. Although until now it was thought that such experiences were relatively rare, the new study by Danish and Norwegian researchers, led by neurologist Dr. Daniel Kongila of the University of Copenhagen, presented at the 5th Conference of the European Academy of Neurology in Oslo, concluded that after all, this is something 
much more common than had been assumed. Previous smaller studies had found lower rates of near-death experiences in the population, 8% in Australia and 4% in Germany. Several people report strange physical and mental experiences during the threatening period uh, for life events, such as a heart attack, a car accident, a death, a deadly fight, or an, a near drowning. Some feel that they have died and come back to life, having the meaning, meantime gotten a taste of what lies beyond the border of physical life. Some women have had out-of-body experiences during childbirth, such as a 37-year-old who stated, I felt like I died and went to heaven. I heard voices and I was sure that I would not come back to my life. It was something strange. I couldn't control my body. Scandinavian researchers studied a sample of 1,035 people in 35 countries, of whom 289 reported a near-death experience, and of those 106 were judged to actually meet the criteria for having a near-death experience. This I've translated for you from a Greek article. It's from a uh, uh, medical magazine, of course, of this uh, uh, seminar. This uh, lecture took place in Chicago, Illinois, just a few days ago. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.